Hi, how are you guys today? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I got nothing. And when I mean I got nothing, I got nothing. While trying to get my idea for this TEDx talk, nothing happened, nothing hit me. My teacher told me it was going to be like what Elizabeth Gilbert, the author who wrote the novel Eat, Pray, Love, said in her TED talk, you are elusive, creative genius that if you put in the work every day, ideas from a divine spirit or genius will land on my shoulder. But nothing landed on my shoulder for weeks. <laughs> and then I realized nothing had landed on my shoulder for weeks. This idea, idea fairy had brought me nothing as an idea. The philosopher Parmenides argued that nothing or a void is impossible. Everything has to be made up of atoms, which is called atomism. Parmenides also argued that something that exists, it is, cannot also not exist, it is not. Parmenides concluded that a state of nothingness is impossible. A void in the universe or reality could not be. Parmenides was then drawn to his conclusion that something could not have come from something. The universe cannot have sprung from an empty void. I'm no Parmenides, but obviously nothing is something, because in the sentence, I've got nothing, nothing is the direct object. The show Seinfeld is a famous show for being about nothing. But for a show about nothing, it certainly was something. Seinfeld was the first TV show ever to make $1 million just on advertising. The significance of nothing is also a part of grammar, too. Ellipses are the three dots that suggest with their presence that something is absent from a quotation. I would now like to introduce my very talented music teacher, Mr. Huber, to come play this piece by John Cage. As you can see, John Cage's four minutes and 33 seconds is a piece of silence. But is it nothing? Absolutely not. It illustrates that nothing is something, that in the music of life we hear silence, the little shuffle of someone's feet in the audience, the sound of a door closing, or maybe the awkward laugh you had. The composer Claude Debussy said that music is a sound in between the notes, that where you think there is nothing, where you think there is no music, that is where the music actually is. Anybody can practice the piece and get it right, but when, like Mr. Huber, you get the silences on either side of it right, that is the something that makes this piece so special. Perhaps we should embrace something more often in our lives so that we can engage the something that is truly important. Thank you. <laughs> 